Construction on busy Highway 75 can be a dangerous line of work for both workers and drivers. Now there's a need for more law enforcement to help keep them safe. K10 News at 6 for your Friday evening starts right now. Good Friday, everybody. I'm Bob Brickheen. Hi, folks. I'm Melissa Ann Anderson. That Highway 75 expansion in Grayson County set to improve the safety of the highway for drivers, but those construction workers will be in the unsafe area while all that work's being done. It is risky work. According to TxDOT, there are more than 25,000 crashes in work zones and 161 lives lost. Mm -hmm. K-10's Bailey Bates joins us from a stretch of Highway 75 where that project is set to start. Bailey, area law enforcement are, are going to be trying to make this construction zone safer. That's right, Bob. This project is going to take a lot of man work and resources from everyone. The construction company, TxDOT, drivers, and our local law enforcement. Their number one job is to keep safety a number one priority during construction. Work on that Highway 75 expansion needs a lot of manpower. It's an all hands on deck situation. Not only for construction workers, but local law enforcement. This isn't the only project. There's been several projects in our area, and they always try to use law enforcement for the safety reason. You know, we'll sit out there with the car and have the lights on it just to try to alert the traffic. TxDOT says the leading cause of work zone crashes, Texas wide, is speeding and driver inattention. Our local police are trying to prevent that. Zachary Construction wants Sherman Police to help with traffic control, but the department can't do it alone. It helps us that we can go to these other agencies and say, would you guys be willing to come up here and help us out? Uh, it's an off-duty job for them, so it helps them with you know the off-duty pay, and it helps us that if we can't man it because we don't have enough people due to people out on vacation or people going to school, it's just it's another resource that we can go to. Monday evening, Sherman City Council will consider four interlocal agreements with neighboring cities for traffic control. I think that the main uh, purpose of that is just to allow collaboration between the two cities um, so that um, you know whoever has the manpower available uh, to make sure that we keep residents and workers in Grayson County safe uh, that we make that happen. It's providing more officers within Sherman when it's needed. An interlocal agreement like this is just a fine example of uh, two cities and of multiple cities all working together um, for the greater good of Grayson County. If council okays this agreement Monday night, Denison, Howe, Van Alstine and Pottsboro police will provide officers to help out with traffic control. Live in Sherman, Bailey Bates, K10 News.